What's up everybody? I'm Brian from I Want Tesla and today, yes, I joined the club of the automatic trunk, the automatic powered trunk. Let's set up some cameras and let's talk about it. So I'm just going to open. You know what? I'm not sure if this is a great spot to do it. Let's go over there. Same button on the screen. Works it up and down. Motorize is closed. You can adjust the speed up and down. And it works with the app as well. Both up and down. And if you had a key fob, which I don't have a key fob for this, it would work as well. Using the app, you can do the same thing. So I finished this late last night. It was probably, well, I started at two o'clock in the afternoon. So it didn't really take all day. And then it broke for dinner. Uh, and then after dinner, I finished it up probably around, I want to say like eight o'clock at night, um, an hour for dinner, uh, a little bit of time searching the internet for things, really understanding the directions. So it wasn't very, very difficult. You've seen a, a kit like this before on YouTube. Many other people have done it. Tesla Raj has done one. Uh, Tesla Tunity has done one and uh, Ben from Teslanomics. I'm sure there's others. I just haven't seen them. And that's a different type of kit. This, the hardware is made by one company and when I was looking at doing this, those other kits are fairly expensive for the trunk. And you know, I really wanted to get something a little bit cheaper. The other person who was looking into this as well was Mark from the Frugal Tesla guy. So he and I got together and we talked to this, this company, Hands Show, and they're the ones who actually produce all the material. They produce the struts, they produce the control box and everything that other companies have adapted into their systems. Well. We contacted them and theirs is, a, theirs is cheaper. Some of that has to do with the fact that they manufacture it. So we figured with him being the frugal guy, we figured, well, let's see what kind of deal we can work out and see what kind of discount we can get everyone. Those other systems are good, but they're very expensive. Some people that would want it probably shied away from it because of the cost. We were able to get this kit for the trunk and the frunk. Mark's gonna do the frunk on his car. I did the trunk on mine. And then eventually I'm going to do the frunk in my Model X. So this kit is $500, whether you get the frunk or the trunk. And that is before a discount coupon. You get free shipping on all orders worldwide, which I think is great because I, I, I come up with a lot of ideas or I come up with uh, products that I find on Amazon or different companies. Uh, I get emails all the time. Hey, Brian, you know, this is a great product, but I can't order it because the code doesn't work or the, the link doesn't work. I can't buy it in Europe or wherever. They ship worldwide free shipping. And if you use my code, I want Tesla, you get 10% off. That's well over $100 cheaper than the other guys. And the key difference, a key difference which I like more than the other one is you're not tapping into any CAN bus wires on the car. You're not changing anything. This is its own unit. It works by itself. So you're not tapping any wires. You're not cutting any wires. You're not splicing anything. And it's easy to just unplug it and you're fine. It plugs right into the battery, the, the 12 volt battery. Well, it's actually a 14 volt battery, but it plugs right into that and then it just works. So that was a key thing to me. I didn't want to tap any wires. I didn't want to have to avoid any warranties. I didn't want to have any question on any warranty issues. This works for itself, by itself, and for you. There's only one modification that you have to do to the car, which is drill a hole, which the drill bit comes included for the plastic button to close the trunk from when you're on the outside. It does have a noise maker. It does have a speaker that comes with it. I disconnected it because I didn't want to hear the beep anymore. After I set it up, after I adjusted how fast it opens and closes, I just disconnected that speaker. And uh, you can you can have it back on if you want to, but it, it's uh, entirely up to you. You can get the footwell sensor as well. Uh, I didn't install that yet. I want to see how this works uh, for me right now. And in the future, I may install that to see if I like that. So far, it's only been a few hours. <laughs> so far, it's really good. I, I, I'm really starting to like it. But there's some safety questions involved in this. Is Can it open while you're driving? The, does the occupancy lock open if you're stuck in the trunk or if you lock somebody in there? Not that you would do that, but just in case, you know, that is a safety concern. So I'm going to test those out today. I don't have a key fob, but the, the phone works just like the key fob. If the car's in motion, the key fob won't work. We're going to use the phone this way and test it out. 
And then at the end of this video, if you're gonna purchase this, I'm gonna go over where I installed things, how I installed it, and how difficult it was, and what you should look out for. So I've got my Tesla app here, and you can open the trunk from here. And you can kind of hear it open there. You can also close it from there, but you can also close it from the app. If it's open, you can see that it's open. And what they do, the car thinks that the trunk is closed now. And that's how they get around it not opening. You can obviously tell that the trunk is open. If you put it in reverse, you can drive with it like this because it thinks the trunk is closed. I like that feature because I take my paddle boards to the lake in this car and they stick out the back and with the trunk open, it beeps and beeps and beeps pretty much the whole time. And it's very annoying. It takes a long time for that actually to stop. With this trunk, it's gonna be a lot better for me anyway. One of the main concerns is, can this open while you're driving? And we're gonna try it out. So we're gonna try 10 miles an hour. 10 miles an hour, it didn't work. It didn't open up. Let's try 15. Didn't work. Let's say five miles an hour. It won't open. Let's see if I can get even lower without actually stopping. Two miles an hour. Two miles an hour, it didn't, didn't open up. Let's get down to one mile an hour. It's not gonna open. If you're moving any distance, any mile an hour, it's not gonna open. Let's come to a complete stop. And then it can open up. So once you come to a complete stop, whether you're in park or not, it can open up. You have to hit the button for it to open up because there's nothing on the screen that can open up. So it's either in the app or with a remote. I wish I had a remote. I don't have one. Maybe I'll get one eventually. But you can drive this way and can it close while you're driving? Great, it, it cannot close while driving. So if someone else has the app and you're driving, they cannot open it. So you come to a complete stop and you can close it. Perfect, I think it works great. We're doing 30 miles an hour, we're gonna hit the button, it's not gonna work. So it only works when you're in a complete stop, which is great. Now the only issue with this is the app is not gonna know if the trunk is left open. So that's the only thing, if you if you search your app, it's not gonna know if it's open or closed. If you walk away from the car, you should really look to see uh, if it's closed, if, if the car is locked up or anything like that. As you walk away, you hear for it to beep, you look back, you know you close the doors. The, these doors don't close automatically like the Model X does. So you close all the doors, you're gonna see if the trunk is open or not. So for me, that's not an issue, that's not a concern. That outweighs tapping into the CAN wires. The problem with tapping into the CAN wires is Tesla could do a software update and which changes things, renders your trunk useless. And that's a big thing, especially with version 10 coming out very soon. You wanna make sure that you're future-proofing what you paid good money for. This is less expensive than the other product. At $450, that's still a lot of money. And you want a good, safe product. Speaking of safe product, let's climb back there and see if the safety switch still works. So yes, yes, the safety switch still works and you can manually lift this up. The safety switch is not connected to that switch itself, so you have to manually lift it up. And that's the same thing that would happen if you had the stock trunk as well. So if this is what you've been waiting for, a better deal on the powered trunk, you know, a cheaper price to begin with, plus double the coupon code, or use my link down below. You can, you can order the frunk and the trunk at the same time. You can also add the footwell sensor as well, if you'd like. At, the, at checkout, use I want Tesla to get that 10% discount. And then you'll get free shipping as well. I think next week is when Mark is gonna have the frugal Tesla guy. He's gonna have his video on the frunk. He's not installing that himself. There's a company out in California that is installing it. And there's places all over the country that can install this for you. If you don't feel like you're able to do this, it is. it takes some time. It takes some patience. It's not super, super difficult, uh, but it is probably a six on a scale of one to 10. Uh, of difficulty level. I'm so happy I did this. Thank you Henshaw for sending this out to me. I did get it for free for the video. 
uh, for the promotion and I am going to be helping out with installations as well. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and I, I can walk you through those because the directions aren't great. There's a little bit uh, lost in translation, I think, and there's some questionable areas where it didn't make sense to me. It might make sense to you looking at the directions, but I'm gonna go, let's go home. I'm gonna go in the garage and I'm gonna show you the different areas that you really need to watch out for and you really need to look at. If you're not interested in that, I will catch you on the next video, but if you're gonna order this, click the link and stay tuned. And there's more to come from them as well. Model X Frunk. So this is what you get in the box. One strut, two strut, one wiring harness, actually multiple, multiple wiring harnesses. I, I got the footwell sensor as well. This is for the new uh, latch. This is the brains of the unit. Everything plugs right into this and everything's labeled really easily. Uh, this is just a little speaker and installation guide. I actually downloaded from them actual pictures and a full installation guide. You run it to the battery with an inline fuse. So if there's any problems, then the fuse blows before anything else. So now that you see what's involved in the kit, let me show you where everything goes. Of course, it's already installed in mine. The hardest part is running the cable through here. I didn't have a wire fish and I'll have one linked below, but I used uh, 12 gauge wire, but honestly that plug that end of the plug is very very large and I went through a lot trying to get it through there It didn't actually fit through I got it halfway through and then I ended up slicing it slicing I ended up just cutting this and Was able to fit it through That honestly is the hardest part of doing this. It really is Once you can get through that the rest is kind of a breeze there's some sections here that have zip ties around them and they're a little thicker. So I had a really hard time to get through. So I looked online, I saw another guy took a razor blade and cut through this and then he wrapped it twice with electrical tape. Um, and that's what I'm gonna do. So I sliced it the rest of the way. It was a lot easier to get through. It fit all the way in and I have it all the way on the inside of the car. It wasn't hard. I have taken this off before though. So maybe it was a little looser. <laughs> Imagine that, I took it off. All the wiring up here is really easy to use. Uh, it's pretty much, you can't plug it in wrong. Everything just fits where it needs to go. You do have to take these rubber bumpers off and then they give you some rubber stoppers to put in there because you don't need those anymore. Now you're gonna remove all this stuff. Pull these back, remove this, uh, remove the tail lights. I remove the tail lights. You can remove, if you're getting the footwell sensor, if you're installing that, you're gonna take the bumper off. And if you, if you do that, if you take the bumper off, these cords that come from the power struts, you run down in here and there's a hole you can pop through and bring it into the car that way. I didn't do that. I ran it through the same hole that my taillights went in and it seems to work just fine. And like I said before, I, I probably will install the foot uh, sensor at a future date. Uh, I wanna see how this works for me right now. This connects to the lights. That's what this wire is. I have to tuck this up in there because I don't have that garnish piece that goes here. That would just cover that up just fine. Back over here, there is a grounding wire that you attach uh, over here with another ground. It's really easy to see. I just ran all the wires to the driver's side. You'll see the other kits online put everything on the, a lot of them were putting it on the driver or the passenger side, but you have an amp and subwoofer and everything over there. There's a lot of empty space behind all this as you pull this back. Then the second hardest thing is running power to the trunk. That I ran all the way up the passenger side because I put a hole through firewall for all the sounds all the little different, the custom sounds I put in the car. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below. I just ran it along the side, along the car here, and up into the front, and I'll show you that now. So we're just gonna run this behind the seat belt, and tuck it in to underneath the leather. No one's gonna see it. Once you have the wire all the way up front here, looks like you don't have enough to get to the battery, but you do because 
Yeah. It's going right through that grommet right there. And then the battery is not far on the other side. Plus we have a fuse that's going to, an inline fuse that's going, that this is going to attach to. So we're going to poke a hole through that, which I already have a hole through it for my sounds that I made for the car the other day. Then we'll plug it in. So not sure if you can see, but right down there comes the wire and it filters right up into here, plugs right into the battery. This is the positive, that's the negative. I ended up having to take off the shroud for the intake and it just pops right into place. It's easy to, it's easy to take off. I did take the fuse out of that before I put it in. So that way uh, nothing would spark or anything. And I did power off the computer. You go to safety and security and hit power off. And that's always a good safety feature. And that's about it. There's not a whole lot to this. It's not really difficult now that I've done it. You know, it's gonna be a little difficult for you. The directions are okay. They're not too difficult to go through. Like I said earlier, if you have any questions and specific questions about it, uh, my email's down below. Email me if you have any questions. Send pictures so I know exactly what you're talking about and I can help you out that way. But I guess that's part of me helping out getting the product and putting this out there for you. Yes, they did send this to me, but I'm gonna help you guys out. If you have any questions, please please email me about, uh, about where you're stuck. But again, click the link below, get 10% off, so this the trunk or the frunk runs you 450 bucks after the discount. Plus you can get the footwell sensor, I think that's 50 bucks, uh, so that'd be $45 on top of that and stay tuned next week the frugal tesla guy is going to be doing the frunk installation if, you, if you're a big fan of his if you if you get a lot out of his videos he's going to have a link as well for his discount code it's the same thing but um, check out his video i'm not going to do the frunk on this vehicle i'm going to do the frunk on the model x and i'll be bringing that to you shortly as always thanks for watching stay awesome stay positive subscribe to my channel maybe i'll see you this weekend in the blue ridge mountains i'll be there both cars will be there. Definitely taking Bob and markers if you want to sign my fender. I'll catch you on the next one.